Hey, what's up, guys? Bearcat here. Today, another exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews, and today we're taking a look at the My Hero Academia Izuku Midoriya Gamma Suit Izuku figure. I gotta say, guys, this is a very cool figure. I'm very excited to get this one, especially because I really like the Gamma Suit the compared to uh, some of his other past suits. I'm really, I really like the Gamma Suit. Um, like the Iron Boots, or if I remember, that's what they're called, Iron Souls. Uh, and I like the uh, longer gloves um i kind of like the newer one where the gloves have the extra um transformation type thing or sequence where you can shoot out the black whip or um or uh that's the name of the move also and uh, also shoot out his uh air air power by with his flick but um uh one of the things i i can't I really can't remember is I can't remember what that suit's called if it's a different name or if it's an epsilon suit or I, I don't remember what it's called but um that one I like but this is one, the one right before it and I really like this one but anyways that's enough about the suit let's get into looking at the box here so you can see it says My Hero Academia Zuku Midoriya has a picture of the figure there on the side here you see it says My Hero Academia Farland Toys Funny Mason. On the back, you got a little image of him. It says 22 moving parts and these seven inch action figures. On the side, you got an art image of Midoriya there for Deku. And there's not much else at the top or the bottom. So let's get to it and crack open this figure. So here is Deku out of the packaging. And I gotta say, guys, this is an amazing figure. I'm really loving posing this figure and showing him off in all the different kinds of poses you can get him in. Very well done, very well made figure, and I'm loving how show accurate this figure is. Right down to the little boots on here, I mean, um, so good, and uh, so well done. I mean, even his mask hanging off his back, it's kind of funny when you look at it but that way, but the only thing I wish they could have done is I wish they would have given us another head, because it's kind of weird doing battle faces, and he has this giant hello there wide mouth open smile but uh for accessories he doesn't come with much he does come with this stand which you can peg into his foot here and he can stand on the stand or you can attach him to like the flight stand here and put him in a dynamic pose of some kind which you'll probably you'll see more of later in the photo section but for now i'm just showing you how it works so you can see and there he is up there So there we have that. But that's really it for his accessories. So now we're going to get down into the posability for Deku here. And he has a very well, decent amount of posability here. So for his head, he's on a ball joint. So it can move all around and stuff. Looks up that far and down that far. Arms can move out that far. Woo! Doesn't pop out because it is on a ball joint. And it's easy to fix once that happens. You can just slip it right back in there and there we go so as i said up that far down that far can move forward a little bit but like a butterfly almost because of the um ball joint bicep swivel double joint elbows wrist move side to side and if you rotate his hand around it moves up and down uh, he has diaphragm joint here so you crunch forward that far back that far and can swivel up the uh, his chest and at his waist a little bit. As for his legs, he kick forward that far, back not very far. His legs can spread out really far. Uh, no real bite, uh, thigh swole there, but he does have double jointed knees. There we go. And then his ankles can move down and up. He does have ankle pivot, and he also has toe bend. So that's really it for the pose building on the Deku figure. So now we'll get Deku all set up to do some size comparisons. So here is Deku standing on his stand here. And you can see he is just under six and a half inches tall. And for your size comparisons, here he is next to our last figure review. We have the SPD Green Ranger figure. So you can see how they scale together. 
Here he is next to the GameStop exclusive powered up Deku in his beta outfit. If I remember correctly. Using his all for one power. So you can see how they scale together. Here he is next to the McFarlane Ochako Uraraka or Uravity figure. So you can see how they scale together. Here he is next to the Figma Deku figure. So you can, and I think this is Alpha Soup since it was his first one. So, you, but you can see how they scale together. Here he is next to the Ochako Uraraka or Uravity Figma. So you can see how they scale together. And lastly, for your basic six inch scale comparison, here he is next to Arc Trooper Echo. Studio Series Hot Rod. Toy Fair Deluxe Class Snake Eyes. And Star Wars The Clone Wars Captain Rex. So you can see how they all scale together. And here is Deku on his flight stand in a sweet action pose, getting ready to kick some villains. And I gotta say, guys, this is an amazing figure. I highly recommend getting this figure if you're a fan of My Hero Academia or if you are a fan of the character Izuku Midoriya or Deku. Uh, it's a very well done figure and very well made. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys again for watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's something you want to see reviewed. I'll try and get and review, review it for you guys. Also, please share the video. Let your friends know if they're interested in this kind of content, guys. Uh, love spreading around the love. Uh, please also subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And uh, turn on notifications because I, will, I do post every week. But anyways, guys, like I said, thank you again for watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews.